What's up guys? Therapy comes in many forms and today our therapy comes out here on the Norfolk Southern uh, short line rail that runs from Peebles, Ohio to Cincinnati. This is the third video of this series and the last video of this line. Uh, we wanted to come out here to a more eastern area of the line and give it another check just to see what all we saw. And what I saw out here is the same thing that we saw at the other sections. Degraded railroad ties, missing railroad spikes, uh, the, the plates that hold the ties, the rails to the ties, missing, gone, not attached. Um, we've walked down here, I guess, probably about 150 to 200 yards to come down here and check out this trestle. Uh, the timbers on the trestle actually look pretty good um, in comparison to what we've seen in other places. The trestle actually appears as though it's getting taken somewhat good care of. It is in fact older. It is in fact older than dog do. I mean, this thing's been here for. I gotta say, it had to be built in the 30s, probably 1934, relatively around the same time period as the one on up the tracks in Mount Orb. So. Uh, I'm not going to talk a whole lot more. There's really not a whole lot more to say, except for, for the people that are out there that think that we're under some sort of a, a terror, domestic terrorist attack on our rail lines. No. We have well over a thousand train derailments a year in America with an average of three or more per day. The question you have to ask yourself is not if we're under attack from domestic terrorists or Russian uh, invaders or whatever your, your QAnon theories are. It's the conspiracy is why these tracks are not being maintained better. That's the conspiracy. That's what Paul wants to know is why it is that the amount of redundancies that they have in place for these tracks are not being kept up to where the problems don't outrun the redundancies and uh we're gonna we're gonna do several clips on the way back to the car i'll set it to some music i hope you enjoy but you'll see firsthand exactly what i'm talking about Halloween, some, no one knows there ain't no stars where i come from just a song me and the boys gonna carry it on if we get too far from that state of mind Run me back down the Bourbon County line Where the bluegrass is sweeter this time of year
soul I keep it homegrown Wherever I roam And I get it because of the amount of redundancies that they have along with these because there's so many clamps, there's so many ties, there's so many spikes that they can get away with running trains on these with some of those things gone. But I bet if we was to walk down through here and actually count the number of spikes that are missing, I bet we're in the 75 to 85% of them are not here. At what point does your problem outrun your redundancy? something to think about and here's the little town of Sardinia that these tracks run through and the messed up part is even right here in the middle of town the tracks are still not in that good of shape it's an absolute mind job if you ain't been over to check out my gun deals link yet how in the world can you possibly say you support therapy range? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that other rumble YouTube mumbo jumbo. Be sure to live your life to the fullest. Anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. There might be a conspiracy when it comes to all these train derailments. But the only conspiracy is that the railroad companies aren't using our tax dollars that's provided by the government to keep these lines in, in perfect condition. Be sure to help me get this spread around. I appreciate you guys. Stay free, America. We'll talk again real soon. It's time to shut up and shoot. Hi, here we go.